good morning dear students you have learned simple present tense and present continuous tense right now you will learn how to form and when to use present perfect tense you know the rule of present perfect tense that is subject plus has or have plus v3 form of the verb right when we have to use this tense yes for the recently completed actions the actions completed completed in the near past for that purpose we are using this present perfect tense right you will be confusing with the simple past tense simple past tense we also use for completed actions but they are completed actions in long back there we have to give uh, much importance for time that i will discuss with you later now we will learn how to form present perfect tense in perfect tense you have to always use v3 form with the supporting verbs has or have that is here all these are v3 form of the verb or past participle they are called past participle here regular verb forms they are walk that is v1 or base form of the verb v2 simple past or past form walked walked p2 is simple past v3 is past participle laughed 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 talk talked talked here you are adding ed form to the verb they are called regular verb forms these all are regular verb forms here for regular verb forms you can see sing sang sung eat ate eaten speak spoke spoken here you can see in disorder right so these are for regular verbs here when you use present perfect tense you have to use v3 or past participle form that is you can see here this category v3 form of verb always with the, the supporting verbs look at the board the positive sentence of present perfect tense example i have eaten my lunch she has eaten here i that is that falls under plural category so we have to select have supporting verb have have is the plural of has right has eaten v3 form right v3 form next she she is a singular subject so that we have to select has has plus v3 form or past participle eaten she has eaten they are examples of positive present perfect tense now negative present perfect tense i have not eaten here for making negative sentence you have to add not between between the auxiliary verb and main verb have and eaten she has not eaten not you have to add between auxiliary verb and main verb in negative sentence of present perfect tense okay interrogative sentence of present perfect tense have i eaten has she eaten these are example for positive interrogative sentence right always remember here first you have to use auxiliary verb or supporting verb in the beginning of the sentence here have i used in the beginning of the sentence 
after that subject then we pray for of the verb at last question mark that you have to put here don't forget okay next one more example has she eaten as is the supporting verb i used in the beginning of the sentence then subject then v3 form of the verb then question mark these are example for interrogative sentence have i eaten has she eaten have you eaten uh, has he eaten like this next have i not eaten has she not eaten has she am not eaten these are examples for negative interrogative of present perfect tense okay so here also auxiliary verb auxiliary verb in the beginning after that subject then not for making negative you have to use not in between subject and main verb eaten always remember in negative present perfect tense you have to use not in between subject and main verb has she not eaten not you have to use subject and main verb has sham not eaten after that in the ending you have to put question mark okay when to use present perfect tense that you have to study look at the board for actions completed recently by using the word just or just now for the recent completed actions here examples i have just completed my homework he has reached home just now see i have just the word you can use here just completed my homework as per the rule i that is the subject auxiliary verb have and v3 form completed is the v3 form so the action was began and finished in the near time next example he is the singular subject so that we have to select singular auxiliary verb that is has then v3 form he has reached just now the word showing the action happened in the recent time okay now for past actions where time is not given so for the past actions we are using simple past tense also so in simple past tense we have to give importance for time but in the present perfect tense no need of giving what importance for time for example they have read this book they have read this book the action completed but when the time is not mentioned here okay next i have listened i have listened in the present perfect tense this song but i don't understand it i have listened this song but when the time is not given here so we are also using present perfect tense for the actions where time is not given time is not important in the past perfect tense this tense is also used for the past actions the results of which still persist persist means still now exist present example the cattle have grazed in this field the action that was completed but the effect impact that is still now persist the cattle here this is the plural subject so that we have to choose have the plural auxiliary verb have then v3 form grazed that means eaten so what about the action action was completed but the effect still now exist 
just to imagine you are going visiting the field and you are seeing there is no grass there is no grass so what happened the cattle have grazed in this field that result still now persist so that is an example for what past actions the results of which still persist one more example he has had a bad dream you may think how it is possible has had coming together it is possible here he is the singular subject and has is the auxiliary verb and had that is p3 form of the verb main verb here had 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 right so the boy he he saw a bad dream but still now he is frightening he is afraid of that dream that is the that is the result that is the effect so that is an example for what he has had a bad dream past actions the results of which still persist it is an example for present perfect tense okay now for the actions began in the past and continues up to the present for this purpose also we have to use present perfect tense examples i have stayed in this house since 2010 i have learned music for 2 years actions began in the past and continues up to the present remember don't be confused for this purpose we also use present perfect continuous tense there also we use the word since for like that here also we can tell in present perfect tense that you have to keep in your mind i is the subject have is the auxiliary verb stayed is the p3 form and since for showing the duration sorry uh, for showing the the exact time 2010 that is the starting time and here i have learned music for 2 years we have to use for for giving time duration 2 years for we are using for time duration since for starting time okay so what about the action the actions began in the past and continues up to present so dear students i hope you have understood this tense practice makes man perfect so dear students always practice practice all the topics that you have studied okay dear students start writing notes for your grammar section what i taught you simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense watch the video then write the notes in your grammar section in your middle of the notebook start writing in the middle of your class work okay now i give you homework today's homework she writes a letter i am playing football right now they were climbing the tree they sit together he jumps to the river these are the sentences you have to change into present perfect tense okay change into present perfect tense okay dear students thank you for watching the class